What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Pupusa Viking with a nice small build update. We're gonna get a little muddy today because they've done some outside work. We finally have our poop box. They just installed this two days ago. We got all the plumbing work done. He was telling us that uh, when the light turns on, that means there's something wrong with the system. Either they're pumped or the aerator, I think. He just left and we we found him by accident. Never I never seen a septic system before. It's gonna be my first experience experiencing one and producing all my bio in it, you know what I'm saying? This is made out of concrete. I, I thought they were made out of metal, but it, it's kinda logical that they are made out of concrete because metal will rust up and corrode underground with all that moisture and stuff. So it makes sense. He said that every month we have to put two chlorine tablets and supposedly <laughs> He said that after it goes through its cycle, that the water comes out clean and it's drinkable. And he said that was complete crap. <laughs> he said, don't even dare to drink it. But supposedly you can. So how this, this system, once it goes through a cycle, there's a sprinkler system going all the way down. You can't see the sprinklers because they already covered them. I wonder if I can find it. Oh, there they are. Okay, there's these. <laughs> They're these things. He says those things come out two feet. I think it was two feet. But they come out and shoot the water out. Have in mind that that was the waste that we kind of threw out. So I wouldn't want to be running in that. <laughs> just don't know about these bacteria and toxins, how they work. You know, you just don't want to mess with that stuff. They finally fixed that door. Remember we, we had an issue with that door? So the issue was that this door wall was hit in the corner, but now, it closed very smooth, no issue. Same thing with the front door. He said it was messed up, so I'm really grateful that he did fix it. See, nice and smooth, just like it should be. And I think I locked myself out. No, I didn't. Let's go in the inside and see what's going on here. So look at this. There's walls everywhere. Finally, they finally put all the sheetrocking in. They still need to finish some of this, uh, that plaster stuff. They still need to finish that. They said that was gonna take three days to do, but it looks like they already did the hard stuff. They did all the top part, which I think it's the, the most difficult, especially in this house. They covered all the bottom floor because this is gonna be stained concrete. The concrete color is gonna stay the same. We're not gonna put some kind of coloring on it or make it brighter or darker or a different color, blue, black, whatever, right? We're just gonna put a little semi-gloss on top of it to give it a different look. That's the, that's the idea of uh, making an art style of home. So here's the bottom room. I feel like everything looks much bigger when the sheetrock is actually put on. I just feel like it's more huge like you can do so much activity in here the sun is now past the 12 it's past mid so the sun should be more to the right where those windows are i expected it to be dark at, at this time on this side but as you can see this big window that's in here it does illuminate enough so if i didn't want to put turn on the lights it does illuminate really well We've got the four lights so even with the when they put the power on we're gonna have a lot of lighting here when we're doing our activities at night or whatever so that's good is this thing acting up Pissing me off. Pissing me off. Let's go to the next one. The bottom bathroom. The bottom bathroom is what actually opened my eyes. I never realized how big the bottom bathroom is. I, I wanted it small. And it looks bigger than what I thought. This window does bring in a lot of light, even that the sun is not in that direction. The sun is in the other side. Same with the laundry room. It's just, it just feels so big. It feels so big in here. I'm glad that Bobby put these, these windows here because look how much light it brings in over here. It brings a very good amount of lighting for the bottom room, which is outstanding. And if we didn't want the light, look at this. Oh crap, wrong one. Did I mess it up? I sure did. Look at that. Ain't that cool? There we go. Oh, that's so cozy. That's so cozy. I'm gonna bring my bed and my sleeping bag and just start sleeping over here you know what i'm saying we sleep in the sleeping bag right now at my parents house we don't have an actual bed mattress or anything we sleep 
on a sleeping bag for camping. We put two sleeping cam sl two sleeping bags zipped together, made a king size <laughs> sleeping bag, and that's where me and Bobby sleep. It's ballsy of us because our back is hurting. So this is all the bottom floor. So let me get on top and see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. So we're on the top floor now. <clears throat> Master bedroom. Sheet rock out of his mind. Look at that. They haven't touched the plaster on this stuff over here. They haven't sealed up the crevices and the holes and stuff. Maybe just some of the, the screw holes, but <clears throat> they still need a lot of work to be done. They said, like I said, a two day process to do all that. That's, that's, I understand because that's a lot, that, dude, that's a lot of work. Look, look, all, look at all this. They went through all that stuff already on this thing, especially on this thing. Are you kidding me? This thing is so unstable. That's a lot of work. Man, respect, respect to the, to, the, to the construction workers that have to do all that. That's a lot of work, man. You probably won't be able to see anything in here, but the, the oh yeah, you can. The top bathroom, the master bathroom up top, same thing. They have all the sheet rocking here. I imagine this blue, this blue sheet rock this here, this is for waterproofing because I, it, just, it would just make sense to me because the toilet is going to be there where there's going to be a lot of water flow. They haven't done anything in here, but I imagine that this is gonna be the same or maybe some kind of cement wall. I don't know, but the kitchen, the, the kitchen on the bottom is blue as well. So it has to be for that water stuff. It just has to, it would make more sense to me that that's why they would put that. Our builder said that we were, that we were gonna get the cabinets in Monday. So we should, we should be receiving a, a fresh brand new built set of cabinets for the kitchen and the top master bathroom. So that's exciting. And what else did he say? They're going to finish the plaster. We're looking for flooring. We're looking for colors. We're looking for uh, lighting fixtures. I think the colors and lighting fixtures are, uh, are the hardest decisions on the house personally, because just choosing what colors you want would affect the lighting, believe it or not. It, it, it's gonna affect the lighting 100%. 100% it's gonna affect the lighting. And we, you know, we want it bright. We want a certain, we want a 4,000 kilowatt, or I think 4,000 kilowatt brightness. Is it kilowatts? Kelvin, it's K, Kelvin, 4,000 Kelvin. That's how bright we want these lights. So it's gonna be, look it up. 4,000 Kelvin, look up how bright that lighting is. It is bright, trust me. Kind of like next to fluorescent, I think, if I'm doing my homework correctly. Look how, look how, look, look, how, look, look, look how everything looks. Look. Car passing by. We can see everything, bro. We had a lot of progress this week, a lot of sheet rocking. But for the most part, that's the big, biggest part of this week's uh, progress. But I hope you guys are up to date. Like, comment, subscribe if you want to see the future of this build. And ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. And I see you on the next video. Bye, guys.